Hey there everybody, uh, happy Saturday. So in the first three videos that I made, the first one was about paying yourself first. The second video was about paying yourself first also with, with a few things that I added in. The third video that I made was probably, you know, the first step. So it probably should have been the first video, but it was about an emergency fund. So I'm gonna assume now you've watched my first three videos or you, you're already doing this. You've got your emergency fund, so you have your at least thousand dollars up to ten thousand dollars saved in a separate savings or checking account you have now taken the company match uh, with your job for your 401k that match is usually anywhere from two to six percent most employers will do three to six you know four to six uh, most of my jobs have had a six percent match I think my current job only has a three and a half percent I changed jobs recently so um, that being said now you have your emergency fund in place you are taking at least the company match i say at least because long term i think you're going to want more than the company match i typically do more than that uh, but i'm just going to say you're just getting things together you've got your emergency fund now you have the company match so you probably need to start looking at that debt that you have um, dave ramsey has you know a way to do it called the debt snowball you take the smaller debts pay those off then you do the larger ones because you have a psychological win when you pay off those smaller debts. You know, if you have a $2,000 furniture debt or a, you know, $500 debt somewhere else on a credit card, um, a lot of people will also say pay the highest interest debt off first, which is probably the best choice financially, but uh, I usually do a combination. So I usually will pay off, if I have some debts that I'm working on, I'll pay off the really small ones first, like Dave Ramsey recommends, but then after I pay those off, you know, it's going to be a while maybe until I'm able to pay off some of those larger debts. So I'll usually start tackling the higher interest rate debt first. Um, and it's nice to be completely out of debt before you start investing, just like, you know, Dave Ramsey and a lot of people say. But for me personally, I really believe you need to start investing now. So you've got your emergency fund. Uh, instead of tackling debts right away, I think you sign up for your 401k match. Um, I just think it's smart. You're going to get around an 8% return typically. And I just think it's a smart thing to do. Now, if you have interest rates that are way higher than that, maybe you start tackling the debt first, but look, I'm gonna tell you, you want to invest. You wanna get in the stock market. So now you've got the company match. You've got your emergency fund. You're working down on your debt. What if you're like, you know what? I wanna invest a little bit more. Well, you have a couple, couple of options. You can raise the 401k match instead of just doing the four or 6% that your company matches. You can raise the amount that you are saving per paycheck to a higher amount. You can do 10%, you could do 15. Um, you can do all the way up to, I think 23,000 is the limit for uh, 401k uh, for 2024. If I'm not mistaken, it's 23,000. So, but, but you're thinking, well, what funds should I invest in in my 401k? I'm doing the company match, what funds? So if you are not someone that wants to do research and you don't wanna think about it, you can set it and forget it on one of the target date funds. Most employers will offer a target date fund. If you're gonna retire in 2040 or 2060, and those funds are designed for people uh, with varying degrees of risk and return for those people. But if you're saying, you know what, I'd like a little bit more control, look for an S&P 500 index fund. And when you look at the expense ratios, you might see something like 0.04, 0.06, those are pretty low. And that's gonna be $4 or $6 for every $10,000 invested. So that's not bad. Uh, some of the target date funds and some of the actively managed mutual funds are gonna be much, much higher. You might see 0.23 or even 0.40. That means $23 or $40 for every 10,000 that you invest is going to be charged uh, against your account. So uh, with compounded interest, it adds up over time and it can cost a lot of money uh, at the end of your career if you went with funds that are you know that have a higher uh, expense ratio so that is my advice there you've got your emergency fund you're getting at least the company match that you are putting away every paycheck uh, in your 401k and you're going to choose an s p 500 index fund with one of the lower expense ratios that's what you're going to choose uh, or you don't wanna choose any fund at all, so you just go with the target date fund. Now, keep in mind, your employer's not gonna give you as many options as you would get in a regular post-tax or taxable brokerage account that you would do on your own. So you'll have to look for those. Anyway, all right, have a great day.